18 months ago two, 18 months ago to two years ago, you know, I'm sitting on, I'm sitting, I'm standing on stage talking to a group of insurance agents and, and I asked them and I love asking this question. I said, you know, what's the one area in your life that you're pretending isn't a problem? Mm -hmm. What's the one area in your life that you're pretending isn't a problem? And then it's always like, you know, okay, just a little hint that thought that just came to your mind. That's it. So, <laughs> so let's figure, let's figure that out. And, sure. and then we can work on all this other stuff. But until you figure that out, there's really no point in, in trying to grow uh, any further. Um, but the crazy thing is it was two years ago, 18 months ago that I said that. And like the second I said it in my brain said alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. We started this daily vlog. TJ moved down to Greenville, South Carolina uh, towards the end of December. The very first episode came out January 1st. And what most people don't know is that on December 1st of that year, I quit drinking. The reality is I had a problem with alcohol. And I've had that problem for a long, 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 long time. I honestly can look back at every painful situation that's happened to me and that I've caused. And I know 100% that alcohol was at the root of that situation, that alcohol was involved and played a major role in all of those situations. And it wasn't until seven months ago I completely quit drinking, so I haven't drank in seven months now. Mm -hmm. It's been the most incredible, incredible period of time in my life. Um, but when you talked about feeling alone or feeling by themselves, like that's exactly like when I looked at the why I stopped, like when you're going through a difficult time or a struggle, you feel like you're on an island. Like you feel like no one's ever gone through this ever before. Back this past January, I uh, went up to the uh, Take Ownership event with Gerard Adams, uh, ET, uh, some other incredible speakers, and, and Brian led a uh, workout that morning. Uh, I think it was at the end of the workout, he told his story. And uh, it was obviously, it was an inspiring story in and of itself, but in that story, he explained about how he had quit alcohol uh, completely. And I was in a very fragile period of time uh, at that event because it was about a little less than a month after I had quit uh, drinking. And I was in that period of just kind of alienation, uh, just kind of avoiding environments where alcohol was obviously uh, present. And here I see this guy, good looking dude, um, a cool guy, you know, he's, he's building a business. He's, you know, health and fitness wise, he's crushing it. And then he's up here, you know, saying that he doesn't drink, but he has bars and restaurants and he's in that environment all the time. And man, it came at the absolute perfect time for me and gave me a lot of, uh, it gave me a lot of hope, uh, to be honest with you. And, uh, and it affected me in a big way. And so I, th I thank you for that. I had a message the guy sent me, he said, I've been struggling with alcoholism for 17 years. And after watching this video tonight, I just had a conversation with my wife about it for the first time. Like that's, that's real.